Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafts by the Bow for one of my Simple Sunday videos. Now this week I've been getting ready for a Valentine's class that I'm running as a mom and me class. And these are the two cards that I designed. And you probably noticed that this is an, uh, an older paper from last year. And these are the dies and sentiments from Meant to Be, which was last year's set as well. And this piece is from a paper pumpkin from 2019. And this is the animal outing paper. But what I want to show you isn't the paper or anything. It's actually the layout. And a little while ago, I showed a B card that is one of my templates that I use all the time. And a couple of people asked if I could show some more simple templates. So that's what I'm doing today. And so the thing we're actually looking at is how the card goes together, what kind of sizings we need, and how to use DSP as one of the main focal points so that your eye is attracted to it and not so that it looks really busy. So I'm going to use the Honeybee set, which is from the current mini occasions catalogue and I'm going to use the free paper which is the golden honey paper and if you place a $60 order during celebration you can choose this paper as your free item and so I'm going to use just a little bit of paper because you only need a small amount on these cards and I've got all my little bits here I've got my base card in crushed curry and if you go over to my blog spot all the sizings are on there. Don't worry about trying to work out what size I'm using or anything. Then I've got a piece of basic black and that little piece of DSP. See how small it is but it's going to be a great focal point on the card and it's the one that has the little honeycombs on the back and the black and white bees on the front. And I'm just going to attach that to the front of the card. So first I'll put it on the black as um, like a little layer to make it pop. And then I'm just going to attach it to the card. And again, I'm just using wet glue because it's easier when you're doing DSP onto a paper. If you don't get it quite straight, with something like snail um, then or maybe not just only snail but even if you use tear and tape then if you put it down and it's not straight it's really difficult to move it whereas with the liquid glue it moves really easily and then this I'm just going to attach to the front and some of my cards I leave quite a space at the top or enough at the bottom to do a sentiment some I might leave more at the top this one I'm going to leave more at the bottom. I'm just going to pop that on there because I've got a little sentiment that I want to put at the bottom. I've already cut these out. I used the little tiny thank you from the honeybee set and I just stamped it onto white card and cut it in a circle and then cut uh, a little quarter of an inch larger circle. And you can see that when I punched it out, I made it so that the sentiment was at the bottom of the circle. And that's just because I want to put something on the top here. And I just need to make sure that I've got enough space on there for this little sentiment to go on. If I'd moved this down a little bit, that might have been squashed. But if you're using a sentiment and you're stamping straight onto the card, like I did here, you know, you can move this down. Just make sure you've got enough room for your sentiment. And here, I didn't even use a sentiment. I just put some little hearts on. So I like something on that bottom corner, just because it looks nice to my eye. I mean, to other people, they might want something at the top, or they might want this sentiment to be in the middle. But I just like that bottom right-hand corner for my sentiments. Okay. So next what I did was I stamped this little beehive in the crushed curry and then I used the matching die to cut it out. 
and this is the piece we have here and I'm going to just attach this over here and put my little bees on but I actually want it to pop up a little bit so I'm going to put dimensionals on the back now you could have this just uh, glued down flat but I just want it to pop just a tiny bit take these little dimensional papers off Okay, and I'm going to pop this over to the left hand side a little bit not right up to the edge but just on the paper layer not onto the black card but just so it's got a little bit at the left hand side of the paper that you can see and then the next thing I've done is I've stamped these little bees and I've coloured them in with my Melon Mambo uh, little blends. Oops, I lost that one, it flew away. Okay, and I've got three of them. Okay, and I'm gonna put one, let's see, I'm gonna pop him on here. So that's why I wanted the sentiment at the bottom. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue just on the bottom of his wing and the very edge of him. Just until I'm sure. Okay, I can put a little bit on this other wing. And just pop him there. Now he's flush with these two pieces of card. But these two, I want to pop those up as well so that the same kind of height as the beehive. And I think one of the bees I'm going to have like this so I'm just going to put the dimensional under his head. Oh, hadn't taken the back in off. <laughs> Let's take that off. And just on his little bomb there, I'm going to put a little bit of glue. And then that way, I know he's level with the top of the beehive and he's glued down nice and securely and he's not squashed onto the paper at this side. I've got that dimensional on there so he's just lifted up a little bit. And then this one, I'm going to I just glue him flat. Let's see, no, I'm gonna put him on a dimensional as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna pop him over here. Okay, so there's the basic layout. I'm going to put something inside. I've got a piece of basic black and I've already stamped some of the bees and coloured in their little bodies with the melon mambo as well. And I'm just going to attach that. And it just gives a little bit more colour inside if you put it on the black as well. But if you only wanted to put it on white, that works too. Sometimes I do a lot of decoration inside a card and sometimes I only either just write in it or just a tiny little bit of decoration. Whatever you want. And sometimes if I don't want to stamp, what I will do, put this so that they're going this way. What I will do is I'll put a little bit of the matching DSP. So if I've got a little strip of this, I'll put that across the bottom or something as well. And that just ties it in with the front. Okay, so my bees are just flying any which way they want there. And it still gives me enough room to do my writing. And then for my envelope, I was going to stamp on it, but I already had one of these larger bees cut out. Um, and it was just stamped and a little melon mambo body as well. And then I used the die. And I'm just going to stick that on my envelope because I'm not putting this one in the mail. If I was putting it in the mail, I'd probably stamp it instead so that it didn't get caught in any of the mail machines and the envelope ripped. But I know that this is not going in the mail, so that will be fine. So there we are. That's just a, another quick and easy layout. And see, they all look, you know, they're all the same layout, but your eye is drawn to different parts mainly to the DSP, and then whatever you've put on that piece of DSP. So I hope that you'll pop over to my blog and have a look at the sizings and that you'll give that one a try. 
It really is one of my layouts that I use a lot and it is a quick and easy template. If you're not quite sure what to make and you have beautiful DSP, this is a good layout for it. Thanks ever so much everybody for watching and I'll see you all again very soon. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye bye.